What up, though, YouTube? It's your boy, Boogie Gangs, the Flyer Sensei, and you are watching Boogie's Dojo, home of the Flying Kicks. Don't forget to hit that like button. It's your first time kicking in the dojo. Subscribe. So today, kicks that are flying in is the Air Jordan 3 Fears. Let's get it. Yeah, yeah. About to go to work. I'm going in. Listen. What up, though? It's your boy, Boogie Gangs, the Fly Sensei, and you are back at Boogie's Dojo, home of the Flying Kicks, the best sneaker review channel in the whole wide, wide world. So as you've seen the title, the intro, the Air Jordan 3 Fears just dropped this past Thanksgiving weekend, was crazy releases, and y'all let me know in the comment section, man, did you guys go for these? And the next question, why the hype for these joints went so low when it comes to the release date? I got one reason why, because Nike just constantly dropping so many shoes at the wrong time. Dope sneakers, wrong time. So let's get into it, man. The Air Jordan 3 Fears, as you guys can see on the box, got that jump man, and it has all the, the logos right here. Let me see right here. Oh, basically this is the quote that came from Jordan's mouth as well on off the fears and I actually want to read that to you guys because I actually got a copy of it just found out about this too look me in the eye it's okay if you're scared so am I but we are scared for different reasons I am scared of what I won't become and you are scared of what I could become look at me I won't let myself in where I started I won't let myself finish where I begin I know what is within me even if you can't see it yet, look me in the eyes. I have something more important than courage. I have patience. I'll become what I know I am. Michael Jordan. Yo. And Michael Jordan, I just um, got done finishing watching uh, The Last Dance. Don't judge me. I have a busy life. I got a chance to actually check it out. He was really feared in practice with his teammates and by his other peers on the court. So I see why they hit him with the fear. The reason why people really just fear that man. So here we go, guys. The Air Jordan 3 Retro, Night Stadium, Total Orange. And this is personal size for your boy, size 12. So these joints actually came out in 2013. I remember that time, man. At that time, let me tell you guys, I remember 2013. The sneaker hype was crazy. I was getting pairs before then, but back then, the lines were crazy fights all that and things will sell out you can forget it so i remember these joints with the pack that came with the fear fours and the fear fives and we have the fear three so yes sir the air jordan three fear threes yo these joints are dope man my personal opinion man also before we get started is that do y'all like the cool gray threes or these i like these over the cool gray threes i don't know what it is maybe that red and the cool gray threes but i just like this type of shade of the black the dark all of that. And you guys see my last video, my short, where I actually went to SneakerCon in Detroit and they had the OG pair of these. I was comparing these to these new ones. And I don't see a slight difference. I mean, I see these more a little bit more darker, but overall these are nice, man. In hand, dope, y'all. So let's get into the review. So as you can see on the midsole, got that gray and you got that speckle with the black there inside where the air bubble you see, you got the orange. Usually be the same type of colorway the shoe is. This time it's orange. On top, this has this more of that synthetic, you know what I'm saying, new buck type right here. And on top, usually it'll be either tumble leather, smooth leather, but this is more like a smooth tumble, to my personal opinion, a uh, type of new buck. Suede, I'm sorry, suede. Because on top right here, where the tongue is, that is the new buck material. And on the eyelids, you have the oranges there with the circle of the rings. And on top here, eyelids, you got orange, orange jump man on back of the heel, the orange jump man on the bottom, the orange jump man with the place right there. As you see in the Air Jordan 3. 
And I will say also when it comes to size and fitting, stick true to size Air Jordan 3s, in my personal opinion. Air Jordan 3s, the silhouette is the most comfortable. Air Jordan, when I wear them, I love to wear them a lot. And this year we haven't really got that many dark colorways. It's been a lot of white colorways. We got with Air Jordan 3s. This one is kind of more that aggressive and I can see why it's fear. And on the top right here, it's like the elephant print. It's like darker elephant print and it's more consistent versus, I know you guys can hit me for this, the Air Jordan 3 reimagined was not consistent with the elephant print, which is pretty cool. I like it, man. So I'm glad these things came back around. And also out of the pack, would you like to see the fours come back or the fives come back? But not seeing this much being a successful shoe, I'm not sure that would ever happen, but that would be a sad occasion. I would like to see the fives come back. Fours is cool, but I want to see the fives, like the fives. So yeah, this shoe overall, and I'm going to give it my Ninja Stars as well. I'm going to give it eight out of 10, man, eight out of 10 Ninja Stars. And I'm bringing out both shoes because we're going to talk about this shoe as well and you see is the wrapping paper you got the fear uh lettering on there as well from the quotes so let's put these two right here man and let's talk about these air jordan threes man the fears and how this week went with the whole thanksgiving week they pushed these joints all through the whole week but if you can tell by the whole fear and everything the whole you know the history behind it they should have released these in october october we had no type of heat at all it was nothing coming out the air force ones that's the one i was looking forward to but if you release these either the beginning of october or the end of october this would have been a hit and you know i think we've all been talking about lately is that what is the sneaker game missing what is going on why is it dying it's dying because you're putting all these shoes out at one random time versus just kind of spread them out a little bit getting people a little bit excited for it and have a reason to go get some pairs. So if this would have been out during the time of Halloween, October, it would have got a shine. It would do a little bit more. And then, like I said before, we could have got a more of a four or a five from the series to kind of get that more success. When you push all these joints, because you had the Air Jordan 13 weeks, you had the I Mama years right around the corners, and you had these. And it was another shoe that came out. It was so many shoes that came out. Oh, the Olive Four, that was before that one. So he has so many shoes and people are trying to pick and choose and stuff like that. And I think that's what kind of gets the people exhausted when it comes to sneakers. But y'all let me know in the comment section if y'all feel the same exact way. But guys, don't forget to hit that like button. And if y'all y'all first time to the channel, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and follow me on Instagram, Boogie Games. Follow me on Threads, Boogie Games, and also follow me on TikTok, Boogie's Dojo. And I will kick with you guys later. Peace and sayonara. Yeah. yeah. Misty watercolor memories. I just showed up the paint. Feel me?